Hey everybody, Tom Sparks with Sparks Media Group. Today I started to do a Pro 3 scan. I hadn't done a Pro 3 scan in a few days, maybe a week or so. Uh, and I launched the Matterport app and when I hit new job I got prompted to fill out the survey for beta testing. And once I started seeing what the questions were, I got really intrigued, so I decided to do a screen recording for everybody. I'm going to um, narrate what the questions are on here, and you'll see what answers I put. Uh, but I find this very interesting. I'm super excited about it. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section. If you find my channel useful, please subscribe, and uh, don't forget to share the video. Let's have at it. Import 3D. Publish existing 3D models to Matterport using point clouds and imagery in E57 format or using textured mesh in OBJ format. The resulting models can be viewed, shared, and used for collaboration like today's Matterport models. Freeform capture. Freely walk around the room and randomly point your phone around it to capture images and data as opposed to standing in a specific position and capturing full 360 panoramas to produce a simplified model. Split mode with 360 cameras. When you can't hide from your 360 camera, take two shots standing on either side of the camera human operator is erased from the combined shot. Import 360 images. Create any new 3D model or add to an existing one by importing any 360 photosphere from any source, unsupported camera, post-process images, etc. Real-time processing. While capturing in the field, the data is processed and 3D model constructed and updated in real time. Internet connection is required versus uploading for processing after scanning complete. Field notes and tags. Add field tags and notes while scanning. Create a tag or note while scanning. Pin note to floor plan view in the minimap to scan inside the image preview, or just a floor. Include text, images, video, audio, files, or links. Notes become tags in the final model and can be adjusted in edit mode in workshop. Time travel. Collect models across time, seasons, stages of construction, etc., or other configuration, empty, open office, lab space, etc., into different layers of a space so that a viewer can easily explore different versions of a space. Complete scan in Axis. A simple scan can be captured with our current Axis motor mount with a single rotation without adjusting the angle of the phone in the Axis. A complete scan captures more of the floor and ceiling but requires two rotations and manually adjusting the angle of the phone between each rotation. How important to you would be a new axis that could capture a complete scan by automatically adjusting the angle of your phone for you? Import 360 video. Create a new 3D model by recording video on a 360 camera and uploading it for processing. Team scan. Complete a job in the field faster with two or more people who could see each other's progress on site. Team scans into a single job synced across multiple devices. Upload the job when ready to produce a single process space. Autonomous scanning. Use a drone or ground-based robot to scan the site, with or without a prepared scanning plan, from within the Matterport app. User selected camera lens. When capturing scans with a smartphone camera with multiple camera lenses, there are trade offs between image resolution, scan time, memory storage usage, and image artifacts stitching errors. High resolution camera, best image quality but typically narrow angle, requiring more 
pictures per scan, which is a longer scan time, higher raw storage usage, higher risk of stitching errors or other image artifacts, wide angle camera, lower number of pictures per scan, lower scan time, lower storage usage, lower risk of image artifacts, but often lower resolution, ultra wide angle camera, fewest number of pictures per scan, lowest scan time, lowest storage, lowest risk of image artifacts, but often lowest resolution. Matterport currently selects the widest angle lens available to the app. How important is it that you can select which of your smartphone's built-in cameras to use to scan? Merge scan jobs. Merge scan jobs in the field. Orient two scan jobs relative to each other in the mobile app. Upload to create a single model. Must have some small overlap between jobs. So there you have it. Uh, I'm just gonna say Matterport, don't tempt me with a good time. These Most of these suggestions uh, are what I put in my feature request video that I released a few days ago. So I'm really excited uh, about the possibility of these becoming available for beta testing, and uh, I'd love to be the first person to do it. Um, I find pretty much every time I use Matterport, uh, there's the, the, the items that I put in my feature request video are items that I could use on a daily basis, and that was covered by a lot of these questions in this survey. So Matterport, start releasing some stuff so we can test it out. Thanks for watching, guys.